Hey gang, Pastor Jerry here. Hope you are having a great Sunday evening. And um, we had an awesome service today, as usual. All of our services are great, but I think they're getting greater. Um, my heart and my prayer, my wife's prayer, our pastoral team, uh, our ministry team prayers that they'll be just elevated more and more to where the spirit just comes and rests on our church rest on our people and Linda had a great word today that random people will receive healings today and I want you guys to just begin to stretch your faith and and I mean stretch I mean step out to where you can't even explain it step out to where it scares you step out to where you know God is calling you but that area is dark not dark evil but where you can't see and let him lead you in that area and so as I walk here in my backyard you know, I'm walking on ground that I own now, as long as I pay my taxes, <laughs> but has been, but was given to me at the beginning of time. And I'm finally walking on this land millions of years later. And when we're moving in the prophetic, we're calling out things that have already been preordained and predestined for us years ago, decades, uh, generations ago. And so I want to challenge you guys this week to prepare your hearts for the prophetic, to prepare your hearts for a move of God, not only on Sundays, because that's our corporate move, but during the week at your own house, prepare your home, um, prepare your um, bathroom, your, your bedroom, your car for God to move your, uh, 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 at your office cubicle, um, prepare, you know, I'm going to pr prepare him to move for me in the flight deck. Amen. Um, I, um, this is my backyard sanctuary here. So I'm preparing for him to move every time I come back here in this area or in my office, in my house. And so one of the main things that we need to see more of the prophetic is I think humility, hunger, and prayer. And if you are humble, the Bible says that he gives grace to the humble. Uh, if you're hungry, he says, come and see and taste and know that I'm good. And then if you are in prayer, you're always drawing yourself to the center of God's will. And so over this next week, and I'll know it on Sunday, I want to challenge you guys to really, that's my mountain, uh, to really begin to press in and pray, stay humble stay hungry and watch God move in your life. Not just on Sunday. Sunday is the evidence of what you've been doing all week long. <laughs> That's good. Sunday is just the outflow of what you've been doing all week long. And so when you come to church on Sunday, it'll show what you've been doing Monday through Saturday. And so I challenge you all to make Sunday your overflow. And see, just like this fountain here, this this right here is during the week, but this right here is Sunday morning, all right? This right here is during the week, but the overflow, hallelujah, that's good. The overflow, that's Sunday morning, all right? And so I challenge you all to start today, start tonight, pressing in, praying, praying, praying in the Holy Ghost. And just so you all know, when we say praying in the Holy Ghost, praying in the Spirit, we don't mean praying in your known language by the Spirit. We mean praying in other tongues. And I'm going to do a teaching on that here pretty soon. I've done a few of them, but it's been a while. But that is so important. and Because when you're praying in other tongues, you're praying mysteries. You are allowing the Spirit of God to flow through you in a tongue that you can't understand, that you've got to have faith for to um, interpret by the Spirit. Or someone else can just like this morning when Miss Elaine had a word in tongues. Uh, so just keep that in mind, church. I'm, so that's my challenge. Read your verses this week. I think it's Leviticus 26, I think I had it at, um, verses 1 through 13. And just keep pressing in more in the spirit realm. And, and I challenge you guys, and I know that'll happen because you will begin to see things you haven't seen. Uh, you'll see the unbelievable. And as long as you're standing on the word with the one who makes the unbelievable scene. Amen. All right. Have a great week. 
Um, I love you guys so much. And um, also, I know a lot of you guys aren't on social media, and not a lot, a few of you all aren't, but I'm gonna challenge you all. Um, I post a lot of videos, we post a lot of videos on Facebook. And if you aren't on any other social media platform, for the church sake and for your sake and for the community's sake, join our Facebook church group. Uh, just go to Facebook and type in Empower Life Church or type in my name um, and you'll be on our church Facebook page. And even if even if just to stay in the loop on, on what God is saying, because I'm, I'm sitting on a lot of videos during the week and some of them are a, a good amount of them aren't always sent out through YouTube on the church text um, but a lot more spontaneous videos are sent out through Facebook all right so all of you all who don't like social media I understand that but this is for the kingdom and so go ahead and hop on hop on Facebook or even you know what Instagram you go to Instagram um, uh, because everything I put on Instagram I'm sorry everything I put on Facebook I put on Instagram so go to Instagram go to Facebook and or the church YouTube channel uh, but th those two platforms, Facebook and Instagram, you'll be able to get, if not daily, maybe twice a day, but definitely a few times a week, um, videos that my prayer is to encourage you, to empower you, and to lead you into more of God's purpose. All right. Uh, I think I'm going to go get a second helping of Haagen-Dazs. <laughs> Love you guys. Have a great Sunday. See you.